Hello everyone. Welcome to My English My Life. An online class for learning English from a class beginning 6 to intermediate. So today we are going to talk about the intermediate second year first lesson that is respond instead of reacting which was a great a speech given by the founder of Wipro, our Ajit Premji. So, without any late, we are getting to the lesson. Let's begin the class. So, before getting this uh, speech, let me introduce about the speaker and the writer of this uh, speech. Let us let us discuss about some words about him. <clears throat> Ajit Ashim Premji was born on 24th July 1945. He is an Indian business tycoon and the chairman of Wipro Limited, one of the India's largest software development companies. In 2000, he was voted among the 20 most powerful men in the world by Asia Week. He was also among the 50 richest people in the world from 2001 to 2003, according to the Forbes. Premji is also often known as the Indian Bill Gates. The essay is the address given by as is primacy in the Shaping Young Minds program organized by All India Management Association in collaboration with the Bombay Management Association on February 9, 2004 in Mumbai. So we are going to uh, learn the speech which was, he was given in the 2004, uh, February 9 in Mumbai. So that speech was a very, very uh, amazing speech. So you will, uh, you will be inspired by his words by mixing of many stories, we can call it as illustrations or anecdotes, uh, mixing of many things and giving a good conclusion for the young people how to be and what to be in the society and how to achieve success and what are the qualities or qualification a person should acquire in the young stage which was clearly uh, spoken to the young people by Ajit Premzi. So let's begin the class. I am very happy to be here with you. It is always wonderful to be with young people. The funny thing about life is that you realize the value of something only when it begins to leave you. As my hair turned from black to salt and pepper and finally salt without the pepper, I, I have begun to realize the importance of youth. At the same time, I have begun to truly appreciate some of the lessons I have learned uh, along the way. I hope you will find them useful when you farm, plan your career and life. So for example, so our Ajit Prem, he is an older man, he is speaking, speaking to the young people in Mumbai as a program of collaboration by these academies. So here he is clearly mentioning that I was very very happy to talk with young people. Why? Because I was an elder person, even my hair been turned into grey color, means salt and paper means white color, he became an old man and he is clearly pointing that, for example, you are in the college now. So if I ask you what are your remember, uh, most memorable days, you will say simple, I enjoy my schooling because we already passed the stage and we will always think that we lost them and it was very very memorable. And here the same thing, Ajit Premji was clearly mentioning that I lost my youth. I, I lost my young stage. Now I am elder. So clearly I am saying that I lost so many things. I learned so many things in my young stage. So clearly those will help you to choose your uh, career and to uh, choose a good option for your career and make your life beautiful. So as an young man and how I face those difficulties, what I learned when I was young man. So clearly all those things I am going to share for you my dear children. So that was a starting lines by Ajit ranging <clears throat> the first thing i have learned is that we must always begin with our strengths from the earliest years of my our schooling everyone focuses on what is wrong with us why it is important for us to know that we are not good at we must also cherish what is good in us that is because it is only our strengths that give us the energy to correct our weaknesses. There is an imaginary story of a rabbit. The rabbit was enrolled in a rabbit school. Like all rabbits, it could hop very well but couldn't swim. At the end of the year, the rabbit got high marks in the hopping but failed in swimming. The parents were concerned. They said forget about hopping. 
and you are uh, anyway good at it concentrate on swimming they sent the rabbit for tuitions in swimming and guess what happened the rabbit forgot how to hop as for swimming have you ever seen a rabbit swim so here the first thing here is clearly pointing that we always concentrate we should concentrate on our strengths no most probably when we are in the school most of the people will concentrate on our weakness for example if you got a profile of your marks uh, if you got all 100 by 100 but except in english or science you got less marks so what they will say you are very weak in science you are very weak in science so they will point out on the mistakes at the same time they will they won't bother about the highlights they won't bother about the strengths for example one of the teacher was writing something on the board so she written a table fifth table she written 5 ones are 5 5 2 is 10 like that she written and instead of 5 4 is 20 she written 25 something so the whole the children look at the table and said madam you written wrong that is 5 4 is 20 not 25 but what the teacher question here means children you pointed the mistake but you not uh, pointed what all i written correct so most of the people will always point on the negative aspects most of the people will only concentrate on their weaknesses but here our ajiz prem ji is clearly mentioning that if you want to get something in your life so what he learned when he was young means he learned we must always begin with our strengths we have to start with our strengths what are our strengths then concentrate on that then you become more stronger because for example we always differentiate we always decline us to get something in our lives but strength always make us to be confident the same thing if you become if you start with strengths you become more confident with the same help you can overcome the weakness here he mentioned a story of a rabbit so rabbit was enrolled in the school and rabbit went to a school there so she completed a rabbit completed one year academic year and the end of the academic year the rabbit was very well in hopping but the rabbit doesn't know how to uh, swim but in the end an academic year ending uh, rabbit was a uh, fail in swimming test so parents sent this uh, rabbit for the tuition for swimming the parents said one word that you are very well you are having more strength in hopping but you are very weak on swimming so you go for swimming better so what happened that uh, every day it is going for swimming learning swimming learning swimming. but is it possible to uh, have you ever seen a, a rabbit swimming it is not at all possible but here he said clearly that we have to concentrate on our strengths so that is very very good point so start to begin with the, our con, our strengths then automatically we can overcome our weaknesses so that was very good point mentioned by ajit prems in the first lesson so let's go for second lesson the second lesson i have learned is that a rupee earned is so far more value than 5 pound my friend was sharing with me uh, the story of his 8 year old niece she would always complain about the breakfast the cook tried everything possible but the child remained unhappy finally my friend took the child to a supermarket and brought one of those ready to cook packets the child had to cut the packet and pour water in the dish after that it took a uh, two just two minutes in the microwave for it to be ready for the child to eat the child found the food to be absolutely delicious the difference was that she had cooked it in my own life i have found that nothing gives as much satisfaction as earning our rewards in fact what is gifted or inherited all follows the old rule of come easy and go easy i guess we know we only know the value of what we have if we have struggled to earn it so here ajit prem ji is giving a second story about about uh, his friend shared a story about a small uh, niece what she was doing every day she used to complain about the breakfast whatever the cook he tried level best to prepare delicious but the girl is always complain the food was not delicious not tasty so immediately what he did, his friends took that niece to this market supermarket and there she purchased an a ready to cook means instant uh, breakfast preparation packet so she took her and she poured water and she kept a bowl or vessel in the microwave and after few just two minutes the breakfast has been finished and she ate very well and she was very happy and she said the food was very delicious but 
really the food was not delicious when the niece uh, uncle had tasted that it was not delicious what he pointed here means the reward the reward what we earn by ourselves that will give us more happiness than inherited by the old fathers or get from the fathers that was uh, it won't give a happiness for us so what we earn by ourselves which gives us more more enthusiasm which gives us more confidence which gives us more strength so that is the second lesson what he pointed as he frames it clearly here we should acquire our own knowledge we should get our own success we should prepare we have to get our own rewards than others for example you have to throw crores of rupees that was not yours for example what you are having the money what you are experiencing now what you are having the luxurious goods that is not yours that is your fathers then how can you say that uh, i am having a luxurious life i am having a, a good posthumous life that is not your life because you not it earn any single rupee so how can you say that is mine this is mine so it is not yours that is somebody's that means your fathers or your mothers when you earn yourself when you get yourself that gives a great happiness if you earn 1 rupee of your own uh, hard work and your own uh, success then you will be very very happy so we have to earn our own rewards by hard work that is the second lesson what ajiz prem ji had learned when he was young and what he is making us to learn the same thing in the second lesson let's go for third lesson the third lesson i have learned is no one bats the hundred every time life has many challenges you win some time and lose some you must enjoy winning but do not let it to go to the head the moment it does you are already in your way to failure and if you do encounter failure along the way treat it as an equally natural phenomenon don't beat yourself for it or anyone else for that matter accept it look at your own share in the problem learn from it and move on the important thing is when you lose you don't lose the lesson so here ajit prem ji in the third lesson clearly he was mentioning that no batsman for example if you take cricket no batsman will score 100 always is it possible to score every match 100 and is it possible to win every match it is not at all possible so in a, in human's life in everybody's life success and failures or both will come and goes it won't be permanent nobody will face failure every time nobody will face uh, success every time so it will it will be uh vice versa means one after one or sometimes sometimes he will win sometimes he will lose so whenever we lose we have to learn something we have to learn something for example he mentioned the bat in cricket i will give an example for you so we are playing cricket match everybody loves everybody loves cricket these days because ipl season has been start, not at started and eagerly we are waiting for ipl so here a batsman went to the crease and he is playing very well and by accidentally he was caught by the keeper by playing a wrong shot so next time the next match the bowler was bowling the same ball to caught the batsman who was previously out in the previous match with the same ball he was trying so what he will do will he do the same mistake again no why because he know that if i play the game if i play the ball last match i was out so here he won't repeat the mistake so mistakes whenever we lose whenever we was failure we have to learn something we should not lose a lesson so learn a lesson from our mistakes at the same time we have to accept our own mistakes when we did commit mistake when we have failure when we face a hardship when we face any wrong things in our life we have to accept it yes because of my mistakes i got this so when we have accept that one then we will realize that we have to overcome them so that was a great uh, lesson he said the third lesson he mentioned that we have to accept our mistakes at the same time we have to learn something from the lessons of loss so that is the third lesson let's go for the fourth lesson the fourth lesson i have learned is the importance of humility <clears throat> sometimes you get so much in life you really start wondering whether you deserve all of it 
This brings me to the value of gratitude. We have so much to be grateful for. Our parents, our teachers and our seniors have done so much for us that we can never repay them. Many people focus on shortcomings because obviously no one can be perfect. But it is important to first acknowledge what we have received. Nothing in life is permanent. But when a relationship ends, rather than becoming bitter, we must learn to be sour the memory of our good things while they last. So the fourth lesson, completed, the fifth, fourth lesson, he was clearly mentioning about gratitude. So everybody should have the humility, means having gratitude towards others. For example, we are now in this college. So we have to be very gratitude. We have to be thankful to our parents who sent you to the college. I have to be very thankful for my parents who sent me to the college school to uh, college to teach you lessons. So everybody have to be very, very thankful towards. We have to be gratitude for others, elders, our brothers, sisters, parents, teachers. So we have to keep this word. We never, we never repay them back. What we learn from our seniors, what we learn from the teachers, what we learn from parents, we never repay them. All we have to be always gratitude. For example, I'm teaching you the class. Will you teach me the class? No. The word means thankfulness is needed. It means uh, thanking you, sir, or thank you very much for sharing the lesson. So that is the way we have to be very, very grateful. At the same time, we have to be thankful towards others. Yeah, elders, teachers, parents, that was the fourth lesson, what he learned and what he is making us to learn from the speech. Let's go for the next uh, speech and the lesson. The fifth lesson I learned is that we must always strive for excellence. One way of achieving excellence is by looking at those better, better than ourselves. Keep learning what they do differently. Email emulate it but excellence cannot be imposed from the outside we must also feel inside from within it must become an obsession it must involve not only your mind but also your heart and soul excellence is not an act but a habit i remember the inspiring lines of a poem which says that your reach must always exceed your grasp that is heaven on earth Ultimately, your only competition is yourself. So in this fifth lesson, clearly he's saying that about competition. About competition, we have to be a person of excellence. We have to try to be an excellent person in the society. For example, you are in the college. You are coming to college for failing the subjects. Are you, are you attending the college classes for getting low marks? No, everybody is trying to get pass marks. Everybody is trying to get good marks. Everybody is get, trying to their level best that I want to become a good person. I want to get first rank. I want to get good scoring. So we are trying our level best to get in the place of excellence. In that is not only it is not an act. Excellence is not an act. It is a habit. We have to make it as a habit. At the same time, if you want to achieve excellence, if you want to get success in your life, not only your body, at the same time, your heart and soul should be involved. Then you will get excellence in your life. That was a mention. He said that you are the competitor. Means you have to compete yourself. You have to fuck for fight with yourself yes i have to work out i have to do something your heart and your soul has to be involved your heart and your soul should be mixed up in the concentrating level when you are preparing for something when you are writing something that was the important the fifth lesson he was going to teach us what he had learned by ajay premji the sixth lesson i have learned is never give up in the face of adversity it comes on you suddenly without warning one can either come to self pity wring one's hand in despite or decide to deal with the, the situation with courage and dignity always keep in the mind in mind that it is only the taste of fire and that makes fine steel a friend of mine shared this incident with me his 8 year old daughter was struggling away of a jigsaw puzzle she kept it for four for hours and could not succeed Finally, it went beyond her bedtime. My friend told her, Look, why don't you just give up? I don't think you will complete it tonight. Look at it 
another day. The daughter looked at him with a strange look in her eyes. But dad, why should I give up? All the pieces are there. I have just got to put them together. I, if you were perseverance along enough, we put away, we put any problem into the perspective. So here, the sixth lesson, Ajit Premji clearly mentioning about that where is adversity. So adversity means difficulty or misfortune or we can say well, loss or failure. We can clearly mention that word failure or misfortune. We can't do that. Some people will say that you can't achieve this one. You can't do this one. It is not at all possible to you. So at the time, at the time we will be discouraged. So he's saying that don't never give up. When you look at W. W. John Cena or <coughs> sorry <coughs> on his t-shirt there is one uh, slogan will be written like this <coughs> then he clearly writes one slogan there never give up never give up at the same time at the time of adversity at the time of failures at the time of misfortune misfortunes we should never give up here he mentioned a story about a small girl uh, she was uh, trying to uh, clear a jigsaw puzzle she started in the evening and she is training for many hours. It is not at possible. Then immediately father came. My dear daughter, how are you are wasting your time? It is already the bedtime. So please uh, stop it and go for the next day. Or else stop it because you can't do this. You are trying for many hours. And the girl, the small girl, given a good answer. Look at the father with the strange looks. Why daddy? Why should I give up? Because all the things were here. All the means pieces were here, but what I should do is I have to arrange in a correct order. So why should I do that? Definitely I can do that. So it needs some patience. It needs some concentration. It needs some dedication. It needs some determination. So the girl said that I have to do this. Why should I give up? So that was a very good uh, lesson she thought for father. Really, we should always be uh, disciplined. We have to maintain our dedication. We have to maintain determination. We have to do hard work uh, to achieve something, to overcome the misfortune, to make adversity into prosperity. Francis Back, an American writer, written a good uh, essay on, uh, on adversity. There he clearly said, adversity is not a, calm, is not a permanent thing. It will come and it will go only because of hard work and determination and dedication. We can change that adversity into prosperity. So never give up at the time of adversity is the next lesson he taught for us by Ajit Premji. And we are going for the next lesson. <clears throat> the seventh lesson I have learned is that while you must be open to change, do not... <clears throat> Compromise on your values. Mahatma Gandhi often said that you must open the windows of your mind, do, but you must not be swept off your feet by, by the freeze. breeze. You must define what your core values are and what you stand for. And these values are not so difficult to define. Values like honesty, integrity, consideration, and humanity have survived for generations. Values are not in the, the words used to describe them as much as in the simple acts. At the end of the day, it is values that define a person more than the achievements. Because it is the means of achievement that decide how long the achievements will sustain. Do not be tempted by shortcuts. The shortcut can make you to lose your way and end, becoming, end up becoming the longest way to the destination. <clears throat> the next lesson he was going to teach from the Mahatma Gandhi's, the father of the nation, he is clearly mentioning that we have to open up, open to change. We should always open to change. Do not compromise at the time of values. So life leading with the values. Here clearly mentioning that we have to lead our life with values like honesty, integrity, discipline, humility. We have to keep all this in our mind. So we have to go with all those things. We have to open up our mind to welcome all those things into our heart and we have to follow them. 
how you succeed that is not a matter here they will look at you how many values you are having how you got success whether you go in a good path or wrong path they will concern they will look into it clearly he is gandhi ji clearly pointing yes here don't go for the shortcuts if you go shortcuts it will lead to some destination but they will stop you for the long way of your destination if you want to become a ans officer if you have to go for the same path don't go for shortcuts in reaching some other short term goals and short term jobs so that makes you to lose your own aim if it will make you to lose your own destination so clearly he is saying that open up your mind and change yourself and don't go for don't go for shortcuts be a man of values here clearly in the seventh lesson ajit prem ji is mentioning us to be a man of values a man of values so we'll go for next uh, lesson <clears throat> and the final lesson i learned is that we must have faith in our own ideas even if everyone tells us that we were wrong there was a, once a newspaper vendor who had a rude customer every morning the customer would walk by refuse to take uh, refuse to return the greeting grab the paper off of the shelf and throw the money at the vendor <clears throat> the vendor would pick up the money smile politely and say thank you sir one day the vendor's assistant asked him why are you always so polite with him when he is so rude to you why don't you throw the newspaper at him when he comes back tomorrow the vendor smiled and replied he cannot help being a rude i cannot help being polite why should i let his rude behavior dictate my politeness so here the next ending his speech by one of the important word that is faith never lose faith be always faithful and at the same time he mentioned a story here that is one newspaper vendor daily he is sending many customers coming and taking the newspapers and giving money but he has a one rude customer every time he comes and he will take the paper and he will throw the money on the somewhere on the face of the uh, vendor or in the surroundings though the vendor will take the money and he will say with a smile with a smile don't forget the word with a smile and politely he will say that thank you sir and every time he is the same thing one day his assistant vendor's assistant asked him why you are always so polite to that man who is behaving rudely on you then clearly he said that why should i change my politeness why should i change my faith why should i change my values why should i change my character because of someone's rudeness so why should i change my politeness it was a great answer given by the vendor to his assistant so clearly we have to know the word that is we have to be always faithful at the same time we have to make a smile at the same time we have to be always polite towards other that was the lessons he thought what he learned when he was young and what he is making us to learn these points now by the speech what he has given for us by ajay premji let's continue on the conclude of this lesson <clears throat> in my youth i thought of myself as a rebel as uh, was and was many times as a rebel without a cause today i realize that my rebellion uh, was another kind of comfortity we define our other elders to fall in line with our peers ultimately we must learn to respond instead of reacting we when we respond we evaluate with a calm mind and do whatever is most appropriate we are in control of our action when we react we are still doing what the other person wanted us to do i wish you all the best in your life and career i hope you achieve success in whatever you whatever way you define it and what gives you the maximum happiness in life remember those who win are those who believe they can so here the ajit prem ji concluded his speech that he is saying that uh, win if you want to win you know your life you have to believe that you can achieve that success so and clearly he said all this uh, uh, great lessons for us and he is clearly saying that what is the meaning of reacting what is the meaning of respond why he said the respond instead of reacting means clearly when we are responding means we will be in control 
we know for example somebody bet me here somebody bet me on my back immediately i i given my reply with another shanti so that means you react reaction if i wait for a some time why he bet me for what he bet me if i think that then i will become very calm my mind will be peace and i will be in control of my actions then i will react then i will respond to him and i will respond so when we are responding we will be in control of all our actions when you look at the story of a vendor he was always getting rudeness but he not reacted he was responded it with the politeness with politeness so that we have to learn instead of reacting respond when you are respond we will understand the situation we will understand the condition then we will control our all our emotions and all our actions then finally we will respond so that was the great lesson which was taught by uh, which was a great speech given by ajit premji the director and founder of wipro international limited who was a well known person in our india we have to be very really proud for him let's continue con- conclude the lesson by mentioning all the points what he said first uh, story <coughs> what about the first lesson when he thought that about the rabbit he said that we have to concentrate on our strength so the first point we have to concentrate on our strength and second one he clearly mentioned that we have to we have to do certain things which makes us to get happiness so we have to do ourselves we have to hard work by example he said by 1 rupee and he meant a function preparing a, a breakfast about a small girl clearly when we do ourselves when we do something by ourselves then we'll, that will make us to get more happiness and third one he said always uh, b uh, learn something from lessons when you lose no person will hit 100 always so where every time we, every person will get failure so whenever you fail you have to get a lesson from the failure that was the third point and fourth lesson what he taught for us that is we have to always maintain gratitude means humility towards parents teachers elders some others so that was the fourth point what he mentioned and the fifth one he mentioned uh, the fifth point that is we have to always compete with ourselves in our life so you are the competitor with your life in your life so you have to compete with yourself and you have to get more success we have to be more excellent person our next one and the six sixth point he mentioned that is never give up never give up and the seventh point he mentioned about the mahatma gandhi speech he said man of values we have to live with the values and last point he mentioned from the story of a vendor a newspaper vendor that is a man of faith man of faith when you look at all these eight then we know that how to respond instead of reacting so thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next class have a great day and bye bye who are watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe have a great day bye bye